Hey guys! So spring is almost one month away and I am so excited for the warmer weather. But I know around this time a lot of people may be tired of the winter and the snow and so I decided to do a video that focuses on ways to add some life into your home and just to spruce it up and get ready in time for spring. So even if it's dreary outside, your home does not need to be. So I hope that you guys enjoy it and let's get started. My first tip is to change your bedspreads and linings to lighter colors. I personally like to use white because I feel like it helps to add more light into the room and it reminds me of a hotel bed which is relaxing and refreshing. So I personally stay away from the darker colors. I know it's typical for people to do that in the fall and winter months but I feel like you don't get a whole lot of sunshine in the winter so why not have a brighter color which will make you cheerful and just forget about the winter or mess that's going on outside. My second tip is to add greenery to your home. I am a big fan of bringing nature from outside inside your house and so I just went to Trader Joe's and picked up these very inexpensive beautiful bright colored flowers. You'd be surprised how much this helps to brighten up your house especially in the winter. A lot of times you look around and everything is dead. The trees have no leaves on them and everything just looks really yucky outside. So why not have a beautiful bouquet of flowers to come home to? I like to keep mine in my kitchen and like I said, the grocery store always has cheap options. Or if you check out Target right now in their dollar section, they have these artificial succulents which are just as cute and add some greenery to the home which is, you know, it looks like something is living and alive and so I just like to keep it right there by the sink and it helps to brighten up my kitchen. The third tip is to use clean and uplifting scents, especially when you're cleaning or just burning a candle around the house. So you can see there are some of the things that I like to use. I love Mrs. Myers, especially that lemon verbena which is so uplifting and citrusy. When I use it, I just feel like you know everything smells clean and alive and even though the stove cannot be alive, <laughs> I just really like to use that scent as well as clean linen scents. I also use lemongrass and sometimes grapefruit essential oils in my diffuser. These scents are known for being rejuvenating and just creating a very inviting atmosphere which is great for the winter and summer months. I know for me it creates like an energizing feeling in the air and as a busy mom I need that so I love using those scents. I've also been using this rose water and ivy candle from Bath & Body Works. It's very floral and clean and really it helps me to forget about winter because it makes me think about spring. My final tip is to make a spa water. You can make this all year round and there are multiple ones you can go on Pinterest and look up but I made a very traditional one which was made out of lemon, cucumber and mint. I know in the winter months you may not want a cold beverage but it's important to stay hydrated and it's important to do that because your skin gets so dry and your throat is dry. So why not try out a delicious spa water? Not only is it healthy for you, it also makes you feel like you're at a spa and hello, what's more rejuvenating than that? So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I've also featured these tips on my new blog which is our everydayspaces.com. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. And I go into detail, I add a few more tips than I talked about today. But I hope that you found the video helpful. I hope that you're all doing well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!